hi everyone welcome or welcome back to my channel in today's video we are going to be going to palm springs for three days it's going to be a little mini getaway so i'm going to be showing you guys what i'm going to pack in these two bags in my cosmetics bag and in my regular handbag so let's go ahead and get started okay so first i'm going to start off with my cosmetics bag this is from ray dunn and i got it at tj maxx so I'm not going to be taking a lot of makeup on this trip because it's going to be like 114 degrees and I just, I don't want to carry um and have that weight on my face. So I'll show you guys what's in here. So first I have this really pretty headband that I got at the Dollar Tree. I'm going to be taking this just because whenever I wash my face or if I'm going to do like my makeup, the little makeup that I do take, I want to have my hair up and not in the way. I have my jewelry case right here. I did link it on LTK in case you guys want it. It's from Amazon. It's really, really nice because it holds your earrings, your rings, necklaces. And in here I have um, a couple of bracelets. I'll show you guys that if I can open it. It's really hard to open stuff with one hand. Let me see. So you guys can see there I have my bracelets, my... I'm only taking one necklace and three earrings. So if it's everything that I needed to, I'm taking this pink sugar body lotion. I'm taking this Miss Sweet perfume. This smells really good and I got it from Timu. Some mini deodorant. So I'm taking this Blooming Wet n Wild Face Mist because this really refreshes my skin, especially if it's going to be really hot over there. I need to have this just to give my face a little bit of moisture and that way it won't be super dry. I'm taking a little Beauty Blender. This lipstick is from Shein. It's like hot pink. You guys can see that. Okay, let me close this. All right, then we have this is also from Shein. It is their body like highlighter. I don't know why it's not focusing. It's sort of like their block, their body highlighter. I think it would look so cute for over there that it's gonna be hot. I have my concealer. This is the only makeup that I am taking. Some concealer. My eyelash curler. My mascara. The Too Faced Brown Mascara. A little eyebrow brush to just like brush them. Another lipstick here. This one is from Wet n Wild and it's called... What is it called here? There it's all it says. Like a neutral one. And this is Let's Get Cozy by Beauty Creations. It is a eyeshadow. No, not eyeshadow. Eyeshadow. It is a um, highlight and blush kit. So two in one. That way I don't have to carry a lot. I really like it. Okay, so that was what it was in my cosmetics bag. Now I'm going to be showing you guys what I'm going to be carrying in my handbag. I have these keychains that I put on it, like bag charms. This one says love. I just thought I would decorate it. Um, so this one's really packed. It's kind of heavy and it's really packed. But yeah. Okay, so the first thing that I have to take with me is my fan. It's going to be, like I said, 114 degrees. I need this. And I'm also going to take the charger. All right, next thing I have are some tissues. Never know when you're going to need some. I have here my coin purse. And this one is just my wallet. It just has a little pom-pom. And yeah, it just has my cards and stuff. All right. Over here in this little pocket, I have my portable charger, and I'm going to take the charger to charge it over there. 
my glass wipe cleaner, some gum. I just did buy these um, gum to, for the trip. And I have other like candies in here in case, you know, anybody wants some. Or myself, of course, I have some hand sanitizer, champagne toast. Um, that's it for right here. In this bag, it's I got this from Knott's Berry Farm. And I just have this little candy charm on it because this is my candy bag. In here, I just have a lot of random candies that I like to just carry with me in case I want like something. I have some Tic Tacs. Some Jolly Ranchers. I have these. These are my favorite. The strawberries and cream. So good. And I actually wanted to try these Tic Tacs. So I got them. I haven't tried them out yet though. So hopefully they're good. Because I really like the packaging. It's so cute. Um, but that's what I have in there. Okay. And that's all that's on this side. So right here we have this big, big, big bag here. It says summer vibes and I just put these keychains on it the Hello Kitty Hawaii one it has a little pineapple it says Hawaii and a little flower with a pom-pom it's a little ice cream okay so I thought that's that was really summer vibes with this bag so I had to put it on there and I'm gonna show you guys what I have in here so I packed this to the brim because I really needed the space. So in here we have my sunglasses. This thing, if you have thick thighs, you already know that they rub together, especially in the heat. So this is like um, a bomb that you can put and that way they won't rub together. I got it on Amazon. This is a little spray mist thing for the heat also. You can just fill it up with water and you get like instant mist. I have a ton, a ton, a ton of these wet ones. You never know when you're going to need them. So I just put them in there. Two hair ties. This is a utensils kit. So I just have some utensils in here just in case I need them. Okay. And then we have some blotting paper. These three from She Glam to remove my makeup. I'm only going to take wipes because since I'm not going to have a lot of makeup on, I think that this will do it. And yeah, I have three for each day. Some of my Melody Floss Picks. I just open it like this. Lip balm. Cake batter. Some really ugly nail glue some super glue this is so cute it is another lip balm but it's like a seashell some hand lotion thousand wishes um i also have a little pen this is a little pen I have another hand lotion for some reason. I'm not sure. I have to take one out. This is a hair tamer finishing wand for like your baby hairs to calm them down. What is this? A stain remover stick, a lint roller, and a little lip gloss. I have a popsicle. So that's what's in there. Okay, so the next things are just these two bags. And in here, in here I just have a cup cozy for my drinks and what is this oh a water bag for like the pool just put my phone in here if i want to record or take pictures and then in here i have this little pouch it's from shein as well as a little keychain that i attached to it and in here i'm just gonna put my chargers my fan charger my portable charger charger and my uh apple watch charger as well as my phone charger so all the chargers are in here neatly organized and then i have my first aid kit i've already shared this with you guys in the past so i'm not gonna like go in it but it basically has all the same things that it always has and i just think it's very important to take it because you never know what you're gonna need so yeah 
Okay, so this is my week ender bag. This is where I take, you know, if I'm going on a short trip, everything fits in here. I got this from Amazon. And it's just like baby pink. Really, really nice quality. So I'm going to be showing you guys my outfits that I'm going to take. Okay, so this is going to be outfit number one with this beautiful dress from Marshalls. It has a little slit here with these sandals and this hat. I think it's gonna look super cute this is the outfit that i'm gonna leave in so i just really am obsessed okay, with it so this is the outfit for this second day this little beige dress again from marshall's and these white shoes or sandals with the same hats so freaking cute all right so this next outfit is this green shirt these black shorts and I think I'm going to take these same sandals to pair it with and the same hats. Just because I don't want to carry a lot of stuff because it is three days. And I still want to be comfortable and fresh. So, yeah, this is outfit number three. <laughs> so we finally got to palm springs after two hours from la and we stopped at this place called cabazon dinosaurs we just thought it would be cool to stop and they have two large dinosaurs in here and you can actually go into one and there's like a gift shop and in the other section in the back they have a like there's like a bunch of activities you do have to pay i don't remember it was like 10 15 dollars but we decided not to we just wanted to see the dinosaurs and go into the gift shop that's up here and it's pretty cool bunch of dinosaurs like facts about stuff and if you want to you can go ahead and buy something but yeah so this is a back area where you can do like activities it's mostly like for kids maybe but it was pretty cool to see anyways so here we got to the hotel finally really really nice hotel and here i am just showing you guys the lobby really nice they had free breakfast they also had a big pool which was really nice because again it was super hot but yeah we finally got to our hotel we got the room key and the room was actually really nice spacious and i loved the full kitchen a lot i think it was like i really love hotels that have a full kitchen like that the bathroom everything was really nice so i recommend staying here it was the homewood suites by hilton and we finally went into the pool later on because it was so hot the views were great the pool was a nice temperature like everything was really perfect this is me after the pool and here we played just some connect four which i thought was really cool that they had it so fun Okay, so here I am just showing you guys my makeup because I did like do a touch up after I took a shower from the pool and I was just, you know, showing you guys my things. After this, we did go to downtown Palm Springs and we saw this really big Marilyn Monroe statue and it was still hot at night, but you know, it was just better because the sun wasn't in your face and you could actually like see everything. So we just walked around, but honestly, things were closed. So, yeah. But this was the next morning. So pretty. It was like the mountains looked so nice. And we just drove again to downtown Palm Springs just to see how it looked during the daytime. And obviously, things were going to be open because it's day. Um, But we saw this car, like, art installation. This was in front of the Palm Springs Art Museum, but actually we couldn't go because it was closed until the weekend and we actually went Monday through Thursday. So we couldn't, I mean Wednesday, so we couldn't go into it. But we just walked around here downtown, like I said, and I had to get a Starbucks because it was so hot and I just needed it. This is my favorite drink right now. It's the Strawberry acai refresher with lemonade so good we got some frozen yogurt in this place called just chillin after that we did go to an arcade it's called boomers and i just 
really liked it. It was really fun. And we went mini golfing. There's a lot of stuff to do. They had go-karts as well, which we did do. And here I am just going into the mini golf. Really nice views. And the next day, we actually went to this sculpture garden. And here I am just showing you guys the whole map of it. And they had a lot of sculptures. It was really nice and peaceful, especially like in the waterfall area, which you guys will see right now. You could just sit there and it was so quiet and you could just hear the water, see the art. Really, really nice to go to. And it was free. So I just thought that was really nice. But yeah, we had a lot of fun and there was actually a lot of things to do. You just had to like drive there, of course. The aerial tramway was closed. We were going to go to that, but we didn't because it was closed until September 1st. But yeah, this part was so, so, so nice. So peaceful to just stand there and listen to the water. So later on this night, we went bowling and then we catched some dinner at this Mexican restaurant. So good. Everything was so, so good. Here we went to the zoo and we saw a bunch of animals. I really liked that they have a lot of area to roam free in. So here we just were looking at the giraffes. We actually did feed them. And I did post it on my Instagram uh, of me feeding it. But it was like $10 for like lettuce. And it was really fun to feed them. Here I'm just brushing a Nigerian goat, they said. So it's a baby. And yeah, we just saw a lot of animals. This was the last day that we were here. So it was really fun. But yeah, here we are just going home. So thank you so much for watching this and I'll see you guys on my next video. Bye.